In this video, I wanted to go over some other possible ways you can get creative with the new Double Dragon trading system. So I've got my three moving average crossover indicators loaded. I've changed the parameters a little bit. I'm using all linear regression. As you can see here, you can choose from a lot of different moving average types, uh, EMA, SMA, HMA. I've got linear regression loaded right now. I'm using uh, 20 period and for the slow period, 250. And then I've got a 50 and a 250 and a 100 and a 250. And that's what's making these colored bands in the background. I've also got the solar wind indicator loaded. I'm using the minor trend template that comes with this product that Ninza offers when you buy the solar wind indicator or the double dragon system. And I disabled the plot and pretty much everything else. All it is doing is printing the bar either green or red, depending on which direction the solar wind trend is headed. I've also got the bar status indicator from Ninza. I uh, highly recommend picking that up. It's free if you're a Ninza family member. You can make your bar timers very large, so they're much easier to see. I've also got the volume candles indicator loaded. It's giving these elevated levels of volume printed on the charts, uh, 3K, 4K, 5K, 4K. And I've got the intraday VWAP Pro from Ninza. All it's plotting right now is just the VWAP, just keeping it really simple on this chart. That's that cyan colored line here. And then I've also got an additional solar wind indicator loaded. And down here I've got an ES chart loaded and I've got the solar wind applied to this ES chart down here. So this is just giving us the solar wind trend for the ES chart down here. And above this is a NASDAQ chart. So you can see on my data series I've got a NASDAQ chart loaded, that's this top portion. Then I've also got an ES chart loaded and that's this bottom portion. That way I can keep an eye on the NASDAQ and the ES both on one chart and I can see when they are in agreement, and that helps me with my trading decisions. Right now I have this Friday, July 21st, the New York Open session up on the chart. So coming into the New York Open, here's 9.25, we've got a downtrend on our ES chart. Uh, we've got the red candles on the NQ signifying a downtrend. Our moving average cloud is bullish right now, but once we start crossing below the edge of the cloud, I'm definitely keeping my eyes open for shorts. Uh, right at the open, we get a pretty big push down on the NASDAQ and we have some bigger volume coming in. I don't always like to take trades right at the beginning of the New York Open. Sometimes I will. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at how close this VWAP line is and kind of expecting it to get held up at the VWAP. So I'm not really interested in a trade right there. And it's just the first minute of the New York Open. Next candle, we get some bigger volume coming into the upside. Our candles are still red and our ES solar wind is still red. Uh, we get even more volume coming in to the upside. So I'm um, kind of keeping my eyes open for a reversal here, potentially. Then we get a huge candlestick to the upside, some more positive volume coming in. Our ES solar wind has turned to green now. We're still not out of this cloud, so I'm a little hesitant. Even on the next candle with all this volume coming in, uh, we still close right below this cloud. Uh, we're not really breaking out of the cloud. I like to see 
price action break out of a certain area before I want to hop in. So we still haven't really broke out of this cloud and we're starting to see some negative volume coming in. And our moving average cloud is kind of mixed. We've got a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. It's kind of in the middle. On this candle we get a break below on the 20 linear regression line. I would be tempted to take a short right there, possibly targeting the VWAP line. 83 to 53 basically. It's a nice 30 point range. Our ES solar wind was green at that time. So not a perfect entry, but we had a lot of things going for us at that point. On this candle, we have the ES solar wind turn red, but the close of this candle is just way too close to the VWAP. I wouldn't be trying to get short right there. But once it comes down to the VWAP, I'm definitely curious to see if it's gonna break through or bounce. And we start to see some positive volume coming in off of the VWAP. And eventually we have our NASDAQ solar wind turn bullish. Uh, we've crossed above the 20 linear regression line as well. Our ES solar wind is still to the downside. So if I did want to take this trade, I might be looking for more of a scalp until our ES gets on board in the same direction. Uh, we did get a nice move up, 75 to whole number. Nice 25 points there. And if you've seen my other video on the volume candles indicator, if we've already been going up for a while and we get a high volume candle in the same direction, it could be a sign of potential exhaustion. And we're right at the edge of this moving average cloud and we never get a break above it. So it was indeed a sign of exhaustion. We have our negative solar wind trend on the ES and our moving average cloud is pretty much completely red at this point. There's no blue. So the next candle on the NQ, we get some heavier volume coming to the downside. We have our solar wind turn red. Our ES solar wind is red as well. But we are right next to this VWAP again. There's just really not much room. So again, I'm gonna wait and see if it bounces off the VWAP or breaks through. And on the next candle, we get a definite break of the VWAP. Uh, we get some more heavy volume to the downside. Uh, right here would be a great place to get short, and that would be the first fully valid short of the day that I'd seen so far. We've got our ES in a downtrend, our NQ is in a downtrend. We have volume to the downside coming in, and our moving average cloud is fully red. So that'd be a great entry right there. And 645 to 580, 65 points there you could have possibly grabbed a chunk of. And if you notice on this move down, this is the 20 linear regression, this is the 50 linear regression. You can see we're just hitting the edge of that all the way down. And price doesn't break above the 50 until right here, and that's when we get a uh, nice up move back to the VWAP. So down here we get a pretty big green candle to the upside here and lots of volume coming in to the upside. You can see this candle is a little bit bigger than all of these candles to the downside pretty much. So definitely a good place to look for a reversal. We're crossing above our 20 linear regression line and when we get a break of any of these moving average crossover levels, I always look to target the next shaded area. Right there's a possible target, and then right here at this next shaded area is a possible target. Then we have VWAP, which is a definite target area. But we've got our ES solar trend aligned, we've got our NQ solar trend aligned, and we've got some very nice volume coming into the upside. 
Our moving average crossover is definitely red. Uh, this is definitely a counter trend trade. So depending on your trading style, that might or might not work. But if you were looking for a reversal, this would be an ideal spot. Put your stop below this candle. Once we do get up to VWAP, our moving average cloud is definitely bearish. And we did get a little bounce right back down to the 20 linear regression. There's a nice 20 point move right there. Nice 20 point bounce off of VWAP. So later on in the day, around 10.15, 10.20, we keep bouncing off of VWAP. And right over here we get our second trade of the day where everything is in total agreeance. Uh, we've got our NASDAQ solar wind that's turned red. We've got our ES solar wind red. Our moving average crossover cloud is red. Uh, we're below view app and right here on this candle when we fully break out of the cloud that would be the best entry right there and it also broke down below whole number 15,600 we got a break below right there so great entry right there at 596 now you can put your stop above this candle here 96 to 50, you know, over 45 points right there. And then we see some stronger volume coming into the upside, so we might be looking for exit if we are not already out. We cross above our 20 linear regression line here. It's definitely being cautious if we were still in a short at that time. 10.30 is usually when I'm done trading, 10.30 or 11. But you can see our solar wind starts to get bullish on both the ES and the NASDAQ and volumes kind of thinning out so you can see there's no high volume candles for the rest of this hour here our moving average crossover cloud is still red so this is another counter trend trade but did kind of make it up close to view app and kind of drifted off again i i really only like trading during the new york open session for the first hour hour and a half when there's uh, lots of volume and activity going on. Then the day before, on Thursday, I'll show you what that would look like. Uh, coming in to the New York Open, here's 925. Uh, here's our first open candle. We get a lot of volume coming into the upside. We're breaking out of this cloud to the upside. Uh, Everything is green. Our moving average cloud is still red at this point, but we're breaking above it. I'm definitely looking out for VWAP. I would want to make sure that price broke above the VWAP before I got into a long at this point. And shortly after we get a break above VWAP, we're above our moving average cloud. We have some high volume coming into the upside. Our solar wind candles are green on the NASDAQ and our solar wind candles are green on the ES. Uh, right there at the close of that candle would be a great place to get in long. 62, moved up about 20 points pretty quick in the next minute. Shortly after we see all this negative volume coming in, uh, we're still above the moving average cloud and it's starting to turn much more blue much more bullish our es solar wind is still green so not really looking good right there we've got our view app we're still above view app uh, just keeps bouncing off of view app when our solar wind turns green again um you know that could be a possible chance to go long again but Looking at all this negative volume that's come in over the last 10 minutes, I'd be kind of hesitant to jump on a long right there. Maybe if we had a great breakout above the moving average crossover cloud, but as you can see, it never really breaks out of the moving average cloud. It just kind of hangs out at the top. Then we get some more negative volume coming in and a retest of VWAP. The next fully aligned trade of the day would be right here. 
Uh, we're crossing down below the moving average crossover cloud. We're crossing down below VWAP. Got some nice volume coming into the downside. Got our solar wind on the NASDAQ turned red on the ES as well. So getting in right there at 842. Uh, put a stop above this candle. Uh, 42 down to 93, almost 50 points. Uh, down here we've got some positive volume coming in and we start to have price close above the 20 linear regression line here. I would definitely be kind of cautious and probably looking to get out if I hadn't already or move my stop down closer. So yeah, just a few fun ways you can use the new Double Dragon system that includes the solar wind indicator and the moving average crossover indicator and how adding a couple of other indicators can make this system even more robust.